Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> that made a bit of a mess. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode, guys. Today, I finally have the chance to get back out on the river and take you guys along with me on another adventure. So we're gonna start today targeting early season steelhead, but we also might fish some kings throughout the day. I really don't know what this day is gonna have in store, but what I do know, it's gonna be a beautiful fall day here in Michigan. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to go down below here, hit that thumbs up button, and also subscribe if you're new. But without further ado, let's go chase some chrome. Well, we have made it to our first hole of the morning, guys, and it is just an absolutely beautiful fall morning here in northern Michigan. This is one of my favorite things, if not my favorite thing ever, riding up river on an early fall morning, and we're out chasing steelhead. I could not be more excited to be chasing steelhead this morning. I have a feeling with these cold mornings, there's gonna be some jumbo chromers around. Well, Mike is gonna lead us off here this morning. I'm gonna film his bobber and see if I can get a sweet bobber down and some awesome jumps. Yup. Got him, got him, baby. Got him, baby. First cast of the day. First cast of the day, baby. Oh, he's headed towards that wood. Well, let's see if we can get a little look here, guys. We're not gonna net her, we wanna get this fish right back. What a great start to the day. Look at this, guys, what a beautiful fish. What a nice looking buck, guys, look at that. Look at how beautiful that fish is, guys. We just got a quick shot, we're gonna get him right back in the water now. What a great start to the day. First cast, Mike. That fish is gonna take right off. He finally kicked us, as you said, just a second. Yeah. <laughs> well, I botched the I botched the shot of the release, but Mike, great start to the day, man. Nice, man. <laughs> what a beautiful morning out here, guys. Look at the sun just coming up through the trees. This is just a picture-perfect fall morning, and we got steelhead in the boat, baby! Well, that was totally awesome, guys. We're gonna go for round two now. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get a bobber down here. Today, we're running bees and spawn bags. We're running this Raven RPX Spiral Wrap Bait Caster. This is a Daiwa Tatula Bait Caster reel, and we're just walking these bobbers back through these holes with beads and spawn bags for these early season steelies. You know, typically we don't like to see a steelhead on our first cast of the morning because usually it can go one of two ways. It's either a really good sign or a really bad sign. But I guess time will tell and we will see what happens. There's one. There's one, baby! Mike just buried one in the back of the hole. Oh, that thing is ripping, dude. That thing is ripping. Guys, we have fished this hole for a while, too. It's a nice fish. That is a solid fish for sure. Man, dude, I watched you just whap into that thing, dude. The rod just corked over. Doesn't get much better than this, though. About 
to get a look here, guys. Oh, look how fat that thing is. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got her, Mike. Nice, man. Dude, that's a hog. That is a hog. That is such a beautiful fish. That is a picture perfect fall steel. Uh -huh. It is very beautiful, dude. Man, what a it gorgeous. It really does have some shoulders. It's like a lump, it's like a humpback. <laughs> Look at those shoulders, so guys. Deep. Those are just such thick shoulders. We're gonna get him right back in the water now. There he goes, <laughs> back into the water. All right, guys, let's get another one here. Round three, number three, let's get him. Dude, that was a beautiful fish. Fish, fish, guys. No, snag. Oh, it was a snag, dude. Like, same spot where that fish was, too. Damn it. Uh, I broke on it. Yuck. Dude, I think that was a bite, dude. I felt something jar me through the rod, dude. That's the first time I've went down back there. That was 100% a bite. Dude, I think he pegged my beat a little bit too. Well guys, we've gone a little while without hooking a fish now. We've had a few bites, but we haven't hooked a fish in probably the last five holes. So we're just working down and just fishing hard, grinding it out on a nice sunny day. Just a beautiful sunny day though. The boat traffic is pretty heavy. There are a lot of boats out today. So we're just slowing down and just really working these holes thoroughly. Here, Bob, right that log. Oh, just got a Bob. Yep, got him, got him, got him, baby. Got him, got him, baby. <laughs> got him. We got him, guys. Might be a salmon. I think I think it looked like a salmon. I do not know what this fish is. It, it came up head shaking at first. It looked like a salmon, but I am not sure. It looked like about a five, seven pound salmon. Maybe a king. It's not whooping my butt like a steelhead. I don't know what we got here. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, but it feels good to have a fish on. We've had a lull for a while. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a collared up buck. It's a collared up buck. It's a beautiful steelhead. Now he's fighting. <laughs> now he's fighting. <laughs> it's crazy how colored up this fish is for this time of year. He wasn't fighting at first, but now he's ripping. It looked like a pretty good fish too, guys. Unbelievable how this fish didn't even bite at first. He came right at the boat, and I saw just a darker colored fish when it first came up head shaking, but then it got to the boat, then it went on a crazy run down river. Now we're fighting it down river, and this thing just totally woke up, but he's coming to the boat. Watch it just be a big red coho. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too sad about that either. But this fish is definitely dogging me. Dude, he's ripping line again, guys. He's taking line. I'm just, it's so nice with these bait casters because you can really control how much pressure you want to put on those fish. And it's just so easy to work with. We just got these Raven RPX spiral wrap rods and I absolutely love them, guys. We invested in all brand new Raven RPX spiral wrap rods for this guide season and I've just been absolutely loving these sticks. They're so nice. And this fish is just ripping, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, does it feel good to have a steely on? Oh, it's a good fish, guys. It's a good fish. I didn't think it was this, this big when it first came up head shaking. I only thought it was a five, six pounder. I'm pretty nervous now. Come on, baby. Stay on there, baby. Stay on there. I was set so deep in this spot. It's funny, this fish bit just like a salmon too. It like bobbed it once and bobbed it again. Then it just shot down. It, I, gosh, this thing is just dogging me, guys. I got like a 15 foot leader on. Oh my gosh. Look at how thick that fish is. It's a big double stripe buck. Oh my gosh, he's just dogging too. We're drifting down into a log. I did not think this fish was this big when I hooked it. I thought it was like a five, seven pound fish. 
I'm nervous now, guys, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby, stay on there. Oh, 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 he got him, dude! <laughs> what a killer fish, guys. Big double stripe buck. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how colored up that fish is for this early in the year. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna get a quick shot for you guys and we're gonna send him right back here. What a beautiful fish, guys. I cannot believe how colored up this fish is. You can see he's a hatchery fish with that clipped adipose fin, but just a beautiful hatchery fish, man. Those shoulders are so thick. We're gonna get him right back in the water here. What an incredible fight that was. That was amazing. When I first hooked that fish, I even thought it was a salmon. I thought it was about a five to seven pound fish. It came right at me. It didn't fight that hard until it saw the boat. Then it just went on a tear and run down river. Took us down river a little ways, but we got him in the boat. I was super nervous fighting that fish. It feels so good to be back out here and catching some steelhead. We're gonna go get back up in this hole and see if we can get another one. All right, I'm gonna rip up, bro. Yep, I'm ready. Just a typical textbook bite too, dude. Just ba 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 bam down. <laughs> like no question of fish. Alright, now let's rally. You just had a bob. Did I? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Go oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my gosh, guys, what a tear down river. <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh my gosh, this is just kicking my butt. He's kicking my butt. Wow, did he come airborne? I hope I got some of that. That thing just came airborne, guys. Holy crap, just a hot fish, man. Wow. <laughs> and we're back on, baby, we're back on. We're back on with another one. Okay, he's probably gonna jump again. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous again. Oh, here he goes. You gonna jump again? Oh, he's looking like it. Wow, do these fish just whoop. Man, just full of energy, just streaking to the other side. There he is again. <laughs> just jumping, baby. Just rolling in that line. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like a kid on Christmas right now, catching fall steelhead. It's been so long since I've been able to actually feel a fish myself. I've been watching everybody else. And this fish is just whooping butt, guys. Wow. Here we go again with this long leader. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is just going nuts, guys. Wow. Wow, this fish is just dogging, man. Let's see him, let's get a look. Oh, he's a chromie, he's a, he's a nice football chromie, guys. <laughs> he's a nice football chromie. I'm not even gonna net this fish. I'm just gonna pop him off. Maybe if he gives us an opportunity, we'll get a look at him, but I'm just gonna pop him off and send him home. But just a beautiful chrome fish, guys. Wow, that's a fresher one for sure. That was the next drift, too. We got back in there. I was messing with the camera. I was trying to get a bobber down, and Mike's like, hey, you got a bob. <laughs> then about five more feet later, the bobber just buried. I hope, man, just another beautiful steelhead, guys. We're gonna see, see if I can grab my line. Wow, is that thing gorgeous, man. That thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Look how chrome that fish is. Just fresh right in out of the lake. What a beautiful fish. You can see he's a nice wild fish too. So that's good to just keep this fish in the water. We're gonna give you guys a quick look and then we're gonna get him right back here. Just another beautiful, picture perfect fall steelhead. He was airborne, went on a tear down river, but we got him in guys. Nice wild fish. We're gonna get him right back in the water. What a beautiful fish. Oh, and there he goes. Okay. See some line? All right, bro. Um, just throw it about just inside of that log or just to the left of it. There's a log underwater that sticks out, but let me get. The... Yep. Got him. 
Mike has just a giant fish on. We were just getting ready to leave this hole and Mike hooked this giant fish. Let's get a look at this guy. After filming this bobber down and watching Mike hook into another beautiful steelhead, we started to have some slight camera malfunctions. This was just another great quality fall steelhead and we couldn't have been happier with the outcome of our trip. We started the morning off pretty hot by hitting two fish in the first two holes, but then we grinded for several hours without hooking a single fish. So after landing a few more great quality steelhead, we were absolutely content with the day and decided to head up river to film a little underwater salmon spawning footage that will be in our next video. I love how full of life our Michigan tributaries are during the month of October. As these salmon spawn, they provide a massive food source for other trout and fish species. And this is exactly what draws in the steelhead out of Lake Michigan. The steelhead come up our tributaries to take advantage of this massive food source and they're truly like the wolves. Steelhead are a very aggressive species during the fall and they will travel up river until they find spawning salmon. Once they find spawning salmon, they will raid their beds and eat as many of their eggs as possible, usually working in pairs of two or three to distract the salmon and feast on as many eggs as possible so they can prepare to hold over during the cold winter months in the tributaries. If you haven't already, make sure to go down below and hit subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. The majority of this underwater and drone footage will be published in one of our upcoming videos as we're going to tell a story on the spawning cycle of Lake Michigan salmon. Well guys, we took a break from the steelhead for a little bit and we came up river to film some footage of spawning salmon which will be in a separate video, but we also just took part in a massive snagging bus. As we were coming up river, we were flagged down by a local conservation officer who had an entire stringer full of fish and we helped him get all those fish back to the launch so he could take care of business. He said that those people had 50 to 60 other fish in their vehicles as well. I just can't stress how important it is to just make sure everybody's fishing ethically and protecting this beautiful resource that we can all come out here and enjoy. Check out some of this footage. We should be able to lay them right on the back. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. Unreal. Oh my gosh. All right. Or the hiking trail comes in there. I've got a ride. I'm good. I'll meet you uh, after lunch. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> that made a bit of a mess. <laughs> I think that's in my food. Unbelievable. We were able to get all those fish in the boat, help him get all those fish back to the launch so he could take care of business. He said that group of people actually had 50 to 60 other fish in their vehicles besides the ones you just saw. Just absolutely insane. I have never seen a snagging bus that intense out here on the rivers. I just can't stress how important it is to make sure we're all fishing ethically and take care of this beautiful resource that we're blessed to have here. A couple days later, we learned that there was around 460 pounds of poached salmon with a total of around 50 fish. Thankfully, all of this fish was donated to a local community so none of it went to waste. One thing that I think most people don't understand is how fragile our Great Lakes fishery is. Over the last 10 years, we've seen multiple years with record low return rates for mature salmon and steelhead in our tributaries. Around the year 2012, our state started cutting back dramatically on its numbers of salmon and steelhead that it stocked throughout the state, which made for some very, very tough years. But since there has been less stocking over the last several years, the wild fish population has continued to grow and strive in our tributaries all across the Great Lakes. 
Each year we are seeing more and more wild fish and the return rate of wild mature king, coho, and steelhead is growing year after year after year. I can't stress how important it is for all of us local anglers to fish ethically and follow all of our local conservation laws. For each snag fish that is landed, there is two to five or more other fish that have got away from a snagged hook. When a fish is snagged, often hooks are broke off into the fish, causing infection and disease which also tremendously stresses out these fish which will greatly reduce their full potential and spawning rate. It is extremely important that all of us anglers fish ethically and follow local conservation laws so we can set an example for out of state and out of country anglers who are enjoying our resource and for all those young upcoming anglers who are just getting into the sport. Thanks so much for joining us this week guys. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to go down below here and leave us a like and also subscribe if you're new. We're going to have many great videos coming out throughout the fall, winter and spring that you're not going to want to miss. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you back here next week in our next episode.